Hello there. So today you're uh, joining me in Middleton in Teesdale, uh, where I've come to uh, Summerhill Force Waterfall. Now, I've been here before, but it was about five years ago now. It is one of the waterfalls that appeared in my uh, book, stunning, uh, 30 Stunning Waterfalls in England. Now, as I remember, it's a really stunning waterfall. It's only about 600 uh, metres from the car park. A really beautiful waterfall and uh, a little cave near it as well. One of the reasons I've come up here today, well, for one thing, I wanted to get out. Secondly, I'm trying out my new camera, which is the Nikon D850. I'm still on a two lens setup, so I've got the uh, Nikon D850 and a 16 to 35 f4 and the uh, 70 to 200 f2.8. Excellent lenses, excellent camera. I should manage to get some really good images. So let's get up this uh, walk and get to the waterfall. it is, uh, Summer Hill Force. A beautiful waterfall, but uh, hasn't got anywhere near as much flow as I would have liked today. But, I'm here, it's a uh, 100 miles away from where I live, so might as well get some images in. Now because I've been here before, I don't really need to think too much about the images I want to get because I already have an idea of the uh, compositions and the best one is actually down in the water there using the uh, water in the foreground as foreground interest which is pretty much what I do most of the time when I'm photographing waterfalls but nonetheless that does make for a good image on this one now it has changed a bit since I was last year there's been a few trees fallen and uh, a bit of overgrowth, but that's to be expected in five years. It still looks absolutely beautiful though. There's some nice moss on the uh, back wall in the cave. I don't know if I'll be able to bring that out today because uh, we are on quite a we're on quite a dull day. Nonetheless, I'm going to try and get an image from here. I haven't just come all the way here just to get one photo. Uh, I did come because I needed to pick the camera up and since I was actually near here 
I thought it'd be a good idea to nip in here and get some photos as well. So I'm going to get set up with the composition and hopefully we'll get some nice photos. So uh, I've got my shot lined up, as you can see there's a rock in front of me that's uh, got a bit of moss on it and a bit of colour and that's leading me nicely to the actual image I'm getting of the waterfall which is directly behind it from my perspective. I'm hoping that maybe I can bring out some of the moss that's on that back wall there. Now I haven't actually decided yet what I'm actually going to do with this image editing wise. I've, uh, I've actually shot it for the highlights, which means I've darkened down the surrounding area. That gives me the ability, if I want to, to do a more dark image, bringing out mostly the waterfall and just a few bits and pieces here and there. Or I can bring those shadows up and really expose the whole area properly. Now I've got the polarizer taking the uh, glare off the water that's in front of the waterfall leaving mostly the shadow of the actual waterfall itself or rather the reflection than the shadow and it is just starting to rain now so uh, I'm gonna have to get a crack on. I've focused out the image so I've got the rocks nice and sharp and all the uh, mid-ground leading all the way to the actual waterfall itself. Overall that should create a nice image it's just not knowing what I actually want to do with the image until I actually get back to the computer so it's either going to be a relatively dark image with just a few highlights or it's going to be a fully exposed image just for the sake of the video I might do both either way they're coming up now Been at this location a good hour now. I've been uh, doing a bit of scouting, see if I can find any new compositions. Uh, there isn't anything really new, but this waterfall down here has caught my eye. Now I've got it kind of at a face on angle, so the water's flowing down to the corner of the image, creating a lead up to the uh, waterfall itself and into the rest of the scene. Now, because I've got a lot of tree cover, I'm not getting much sky either, so uh, I'm quite happy with the uh, result of that shot. Going for a two second exposure on this one. That's because I want to maintain some of the movement in the water. I've got a lot of movement in the water in front of me and that's, uh, that's obviously creating a nice sort of effect with the water there. Hopefully that image will come out good. If it does, there it comes.
So there we go, that was uh, Summerhill Force and Gibson's Cave. Now, I hope this video has proven to be any good. Uh, it's completely unplanned, off the cuff. I wasn't expecting to get out at all today. Uh, I was literally going to head to my friends to pick up my new camera and uh, that was about it. Uh, but uh, the weather was nice enough uh, to get some images in. Now it's, uh, this is a beautiful location and it was good to get here. Like I say, this video was completely unplanned and there was only really one shot I wanted. I managed to get two in. So I say that's a pretty good day. I'm not sure what the next video is going to be. It may be in a, maybe in a couple of weeks time from uh, the point of making this video. I've got a trip to the Lake District planned pretty soon. So uh, if you're not already subscribed, please like, subscribe and uh, join me for that little adventure. And uh, over the summer, I do have a few, uh, a few more foyers into uh, Wales planned. In the meantime, keep shooting. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.